Hello friends, uh, my name is Madhavan. I extend a hearty welcome to this presentation on learning for the future. Times are changing in education and learning. Are we changing? It's a question which every one of us should ask the institutions, the group of people, the society, the government. I have conducted hundreds of training programs, development programs, workshops, etc. Now I have dedicated my life to the development of the society, especially the youth, because they are going to be our future. Changes keeps on happening. It happens in two ways. One change is outside around me. Another one is inside me. Because we can see ourselves. What is that you wear 10 years back, both inside, outside? And what are you today? both inside and outside. Education is what is happens to me from outside. Education is given from outside to me. Learning is what happens to me from inside. My teacher gives me education I learn inside. You see distinctly two things. Education by the teacher, learning by the student. One is from outside, another one is inside. Institutions, teachers provide education from outside. Teaching process is aimed at students learning from inside. Classrooms provide a systematic education for learning. Learning is continuous to happen even outside classrooms. If the rate of change outside is greater than the rate of change inside, you start lagging behind. Outside is going faster and faster and faster. Every IT guy feels he's lagging behind because he's unable to catch up with the changes that is happening outside. If the rate of change inside is greater than the range of rate of change outside, you start leading forward. So it is important we make changes inside so that we can lead instead of lag. Where are we? Are we lagging? Are we leading? Are we learning? Have we stopped learning? What are the changes that are happening? Right? Two-thirds of the people on the planet have a cell phone. So cell phone. <laughs> I didn't have a cell phone when I was in my schools and colleges. A new virtual, that is online world, has become the focus of many of our kids' attention. Engineers are putting a trillion transistors on a single computer chip. That's the way the technology is moving forward. The world's volume of information will soon be doubling every few hours. The volume of information is going to double up. Learning style changes. 
After school, no one tells the kid what to learn or do. They follow their own interests and passions, often becoming quite an expert in the process. You see, today's kids, some of the kids at least, knows much better than the teacher. Right? Some students who don't concentrate at school will sit for hours totally focused on movies or video games. If I lose my cell phone, I lose half of my brain, says one student. Rapid technological changes demand changes in pedagogy, the way we teach, rethinking about pedagogy. What teachers think is not the way students think. Please understand the China wall the teachers create between themselves and the students because the way you think student is not thinking. So better you adapt your thinking the way student thinks. Formal education is valuable and the ways teacher make good use of technology is their birthright. That's what students feel. So the teacher in every way should check himself. Am I using the technology? Am I still continue to teach what was 100 years back? The method of teaching. Maybe knowledge is same. But the method of teaching need to change. Passion drives people to learn and perform far beyond their and our expectations than strict discipline. Today, many big companies are not worried about wearing formal suits, shoes, belts, etc. They don't mind even if you wear t-shirts and tone jeans, but they want the performance, they want the results. So it's the passion that drives people to learn and perform beyond their and their own expectations than very strict discipline. Today's teachers need to be sure that what they are teaching is keeping future in mind. This is the problem. Why a few Indians, they go to US, Europe, Japan and shine very well? Because during their studies, they were focusing more on the future. What's going to happen in the future? And they drive themselves towards the future both in educating themselves, learning themselves, and propagating that as an idea to others. Engaging students actively will change. Education is an effective learning. Design the course and activity that students find themselves engaged. How we know that they are engaged? Must be attentive, committed, persistent, connected. A student is engaged, is known by their response to the task assigned. Right? If a teacher asks a question in between, if he's listening to the teacher, you will give more proper answer. Otherwise, he'll blabber something. Or he'll say, I don't know. The student and teacher engagement should be uh, so firm and continuous, attentive. Right? A teacher takes the student along, holding the hands.
So let us see the summary. In summary, I want to give you education is outside happening, but learning is inside happening. The pace with outside compels us to change inside. To lead, we must keep up with the changes. 21st century teaching is a challenge as it demands continuous upgrading with the technology and students outside learning. Design teaching methods that would keep students actively engaged. So, thanks a lot for listening to me. Let everyone enjoy good health, long life, enough wealth, prosperity, happiness, peace and wisdom. Have a great future. Here is my contact details. Anybody who wish, they can always get in touch with me over phone, email, WhatsApp, Facebook, website. Thank you. Thanks.